Hi guys. Well, I thought I'd do a little vlog since quite a few things have been happening lately. Um, had a very interesting time over the last few weeks. Um, I guess I'll start off with uh, uh, I'll start off with getting someone in to clean my aircon and um, get that fixed. I've been living at my current place for about seven years and um, I use my aircon all the time and you are supposed to get them cleaned and serviced at least once a year and I've never gotten it done so I thought I'd better get it seen too as it was making a bit of a clunking noise too so I thought I'd better get it seen too before it just breaks down on me in the middle of summer <laughs> as I live in Australia and summers can get like very hot 40 degrees Celsius so some days um, yeah so I got a mob in to a couple of people in to clean that for me and fix it up and it was just um, I think he said it was the the drain tray um, sort of getting caught up in I don't know what it what it was on the barrel as it was rolling it was get, getting in the way of that I think that's what it was um, so he fixed that and cleaned it all up for me so it's nice and clean it didn't cost too much so that was good um, so that was that done that only took them about an hour so that was good and they were gone and all done so good it's working really well and smells really good so that's good um, then I knew this was going to happen I just didn't know when <laughs> I was going to get a locksmith in to uh, to see to it but um, I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen or not so I just let it go and I should have just gotten a locksmith in to have a look at it. My front door handle was a bit like wobbly and everything and I thought oh this feels like it's going to come off one time so anyway I uh, I went out to um, to water my plants one morning early one morning and I, I couldn't have closed the door properly luckily I don't think I did and as I came back in and closed the door the doorknob broke and I thought uh oh <laughs> I couldn't I knew I couldn't close the door otherwise I wouldn't be able to open it again because it just wouldn't turn so I thought yep yeah, that's broken that's gone so it was like quarter to seven one morning so once seven o'clock came around I rang up the locksmith and seen if they could uh, come and fix my door for me and luckily they came about 10.30 so that was good fixed it for me and um, brand new door handle and same same lock and everything it's the same key so that was good um, and my computer room door handle was broken too so they fixed that for me so that was good and that didn't cost much either so that was really good <laughs> um, I think they were only here for about it was only here for about half an hour yeah so that was good um, that might have even been 20 minutes it didn't take them long anyway um, that's another thing that happened so glad I didn't go for a walk that morning I probably could have gotten in but uh, there was a chance that I might not have been able to and um, yeah so it would have been a bit of a drama <laughs> um, yeah and this week it's been quite stressful um, had uh, 
realised on last Tuesday that the neighbours have put in like a bee hive box in their backyard. I love bees. I always save them out of webs and everything if I see one struggling in a web. Which is quite brave of me, I, I realise that, but I, I can't handle seeing them struggle in a web, so I usually try and get them out carefully. Um, but I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee before. I have actually had a, had a bee land on me once on my arm when I went to check my mail in my other place, and I was freaking out a little bit, panicking, but I knew that I couldn't do anything and just hope that it would just fly away and it did so my heart was absolutely pumping and because <laughs> I've never been stung so um, I get bitten by green-headed ants and um, I, I come up really badly I come up with this massive massive like blister thing pussy blister thing <laughs> And I have it for about two weeks. I can't walk, I can't do anything if it's on my foot. Yeah, so it's pretty bad. So I get quite a reaction to just an ant bite. So I don't know what I'd be with a, how I'd be with a, a bee or a wasp or a hornet or whatever. Yeah, so it'd be pretty, pretty bad, I'd say. Um, mind you, it's different, different sort of venom, but. It's hard to know, I don't know, but um, so I've been sort of stressed out about that a bit and but um, gone out and watered the garden a couple of times and um, put the washing on the line, I've had no problems, so hopefully it's going to be okay. Um, I think what's more of a concern really is uh, the fact that I actually, last Wednesday the next day, I actually had what I thought, silly me, was a queen bee, it was actually more than likely a hornet. Um, and it wasn't your normal looking hornet, that's why I assumed it was a bee. Because it was like the colour of a, of a bee. But, um, you know, I've been googling it. <laughs> And it's it, it it could actually be, um, it it could actually be a Japanese hornet, which is quite a surprise. But yeah, because I live in Australia, but it does say that they they do, they are around the whole eastern um, hemisphere, which includes Australia and Oceania. So um. That's, I think, more of a concern for sure because they, they're they nasty. They don't just sting once or, and, you know, let you go. They just keep going. <laughs> so uh, um, anyway, one flew in my house Wednesday afternoon while I was preparing a meal and um, I noticed my cat had, had gone off the chair and like, I heard something before that happened like before she got off the chair and I, and I, I had a look and I thought oh, maybe someone was knocking on the door or something I, I don't know what it was but obviously it was the the hornet that came in um, I can't even explain what I heard it, I just heard something I don't know and I knew something wasn't quite right so I went to the door and there was no one there and I thought that's a bit weird I wonder where my cat Rosie is so <clears throat> I went and had a look in the um in the laundry I thought that's where a tray is. I thought she might have been going to the toilet or something. But she was looking at the door, and on the door was this massive, massive hornet. Like, well, quite big. It, looked, it, it was about the size of a queen bee. And I thought, okay, that's not very nice. And it was like pulsating on the window like I just, it was really weird and <laughs> I thought wow this doesn't look very good to me so this is pretty nasty looking thing and uh, I was panicking to the max <laughs> and I thought okay I've got to get Rosie out of the laundry and I've got to spray this thing because it's got to go I don't like I don't like spraying things killing things but this was nasty so so I got Rosie out the laundry and I quickly went and got the spray. 
my heart was absolutely pumping absolutely thumping my hands were like barely hold the spray can it was so bad so anyway I had a plan spray and get out quick close the door so that's what I did luckily it went into the laundry where I was able to shut it off from the whole house um yeah so and then just wanted to wait for a little while until it settled down and sort of wasn't flying around everywhere and so I ate my meal and quickly <laughs> tell you I didn't really enjoy that meal very much because I was just panicking to the max and um anyway eventually went back in I found it and I uh I got it in a jar and I, I did take a couple of pictures of it in the jar but it didn't it didn't come out very well it weren't very good pictures so but um yeah um I have taken it out of the jar once it was dead and took a couple of pictures of it so I'll make a slideshow of them and you can see what it looks like um yeah so it was it was extremely scary for me because I, I'm just no good at things like that I was freaking out to the max absolutely freaking out so and um, I'm just glad that Rosie didn't get stung because I think if if the hornet went for her it would have been the end of her because these um, hornets are quite dangerous apparently if that's what it was uh, their venom are very uh, nasty it's very nasty so and me well yes I wouldn't have fared very well either I don't think so um, it's just very lucky it, it went straight into the laundry and I was able to sort it out and knew what, knew what to do and just just did it yeah so um, that's about it really so I just wanted to I think that's about it yeah I just wanted to tell you all about that and <laughs> my freaky experience with this beast of a hornet um, I don't know if there's a nest I, I've looked around the house you know around the outside of the house and everything and can't see any evidence of a nest anywhere so I'm hoping there's not one in my place I have a feeling it's come from somewhere close by but um, I don't know where the nest is there's got to be a nest somewhere because I've seen videos of, of that hornet and and what the nest look like so I know what they look like so there's probably a nest somewhere but where God only knows um, have been actually stung by a wasp before I think it was a wasp I'm just remembering it it wasn't very good <laughs> that was a horrible experience um, I, I got bit on the leg I don't really quite remember the reaction I had obviously it wasn't that bad so um, yeah so um what else I have had I think I have had one of those oh I have had some sort of yellow and black thing in the house like a wasp or hornet or something a few years back can't remember what year it was now that wasn't um I don't know if that was the same thing I had this time but um And I've had quite a few wasps hanging around the house, like paper wasps. Paper, I think they're called paper wasps, paper nest wasps. Um, which we've just sort of dealt with and sprayed, which haven't been a problem. And they've been outside, but yeah, so I might have to get someone in if this wasp situation continues. But um, 
Yes, I don't really think I need to worry about the bees at this point in time. I think the wasps are more at uh, a thing to worry about. So yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, yep, just thought I'd touch base and tell you what's been happening. Hope you're all having a good day, evening, whatever it is over where you are. And thanks for tuning in. And hopefully I'll be back with a, another song or two soon. <laughs> um, thanks for all your lovely comments and your support. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go now and make the slideshow up for you so I can put this up. Okay, see ya. <laughs>